Monoprotic acids are the acids that produce a single proton per molecule of an acid that we dissolve in water. And hydrochloric acid is a great example of it. Whenever we dissolve HCl in water, every molecule gives off one proton, one hydrogen ion. And when we talk about acids, we are mostly concerned with the amount of protons or hydrogen ions given off by the acid in the solution. So, let's say we have a um, solution of hydrochloric acid with 2.0 molarity. Molarity is a way for us to measure the concentration of our solution. And knowing that every molecule of HCl gave off one proton, it gives us information about the concentration of protons in the solution. It would be the same. It would be 2.0 molarity for the concentration of proton ions in the solution. Diprotic acids are the acids that produce two hydrogen ions or two protons per molecule of acid that we dissolve in water. Sulfuric acid would produce one uh, proton, one hydrogen ion at first step of the dissociation. And once the remaining ion dissociates once more, there will be another proton produced. So at the end of the day, sulfuric acid gives off two hydrogen ions in their solution. What it means in terms of concentration. If we have a solution of sulfuric acid, with molarity 2.0, then when we considering the molarity of hydrogen ions or molarity of protons in the solution, we should double this concentration. It would be 4.0. Triprotic acids, acids that produce three protons per molecule uh, of an acid dissolved in water. And here is phosphoric acid, which produces three hydrogen ions when it dissolved in water. So, once again, following our example, let's say we have the solution of an acid, and the molarity of the solution is 2.0. If we would be considering the amount of protons or hydrogen ions, in that solution, knowing that every molecule of this acid gave off three protons, we can say that the molarity of the hydrogen ions in the solution would be 2 times 3, 6. Monohydroxid bases are the bases that produce a single hydroxide ion per molecule of base that was dissolved in water. Sodium hydroxide. When it dissolved in water, each molecule of sodium hydroxide would produce one sodium ion and one hydroxide ion, which is important to our understanding of the concentration of hydroxide ion, which is we can mostly concerned about when we talk about bases. So if we have a solution of sodium hydroxide of the molarity 3.0, Knowing that every molecule of sodium hydroxide gave off one ion, uh, one hydroxide ion, gives us the information about the concentration of hydroxide ion in the solution. So the concentration of hydroxide ions would be the same. It would be 3.0 molarity. Dihydroxy bases are the bases that produce two hydroxide ions per molecule of a base that was dissolved in water. So here is barium hydroxide. And each molecule of barium hydroxide, when it is dissolved in water, would produce two hydroxide ions. So going back to our understanding of concentration, if our solution of barium hydroxide has a molarity 3.0, then we can now calculate the molarity of hydroxide ion in the solution. 
considering that each molecule of barium hydroxide gave off two hydroxide ions, we now can say that the molarity of hydroxide ions in the solution is 6.